Hello everyone, welcome to Diddy Disciples. Hi Helen, and James is with us this week. Hi James. Hi. Lovely to see you. <laughs> Hello, that's lovely. So in, a, in this pond and I grow my own Christmas tree. Excellent. Well, yeah. Helen and I are going to do some remembering now, James. We are because we are nearly in November, aren't we? And in November, we remember all sorts of things. So this week, we remember all people who have died. So I wonder if you've got your candle handy. You remember we did a little starter on Tuesday. And we had a go at drawing a candle and this is mine and if you've got one of yours oh and kate's got a lovely little red candle if you've got one it'd be nice to have it for the story later but don't worry if you haven't done one yet and you might like to have a look at our diddy disciples bridge north facebook page for the little crafty starter that we did and if you can put the pictures of your candles when you've done them on there, that would be lovely and we could all see them. So that would be great. So in November, we remember and the colour for the church for this time is red. So I wonder whether you've got something red with you that you can shake around. Now, Kate's got her red pillow and I've got a lovely red scarf. And I think James has got some lovely red tinsel as well. Wow, I think it's on the tree at the moment, decorating the Christmas tree. Oh, there it is. Lovely, smashing. So if you've got something red, can you shake it now? Off we go. In November, we remember. Wow, lovely. Well done, everybody. So we're going to start with our remembering song that Kate started to teach us last week. So let's have a go at seeing if we can remember how that went. Okay, so let's sing together. In November, we remember all the good things our God gives so that nothing is forgotten and our special memories live remember that shall we give it one more try off we go then in november we remember all the good things our god gives so that nothing is forgotten and our special memories live. Wow, well done everybody, that's lovely. So we're going to get ready to open the Bible now. So have you got your thumb ready? Here we go. Let's take our thumb and draw it across over our eyes and over our mouth and over our heart. And let's ask Jesus to help us to get ready to listen out for God. Jesus, open up our eyes. Hallelujah. Jesus, open up our lips. Hallelujah. Jesus, open up my heart. Hallelujah. Jesus, help me hear your voice. Hallelujah. Well, we're ready for the story now. So over to you, Kate. Well, Helen, actually, this week I'm going to tell you a story about somebody I know and love who died. But first, we're going to have a look in this very special box. Now, this, is, this isn't the usual box because I've got it instead of Helen's lovely box with the star. It's a very special tin because we were given some lovely gifts when James was born. 
which makes me think of this person that we're going to remember. But what do you think? First of all, what season are we in? Can anyone tell me what season we're in? We're in autumn. That's it, Helen, autumn. So, we're going towards Christmas. We got the, we got the, that's true that we got the tinsel out for our halos for all the saints last week. So it started some Christmas thinking. Did you decide to Christmas? Okay, we are, that's true. But first, we're going to remember. So, Helen, what do you think is inside this tin? Ooh, Any ideas at home? We've got, look, lots of beautiful autumn leaves. And inside, I've also got some little candles that we're going to use later, like your lovely candle pictures. Well, at autumn, we first think about all of the seeds falling onto the ground. Can you show me the seeds falling onto the ground? But now we also see leaves like these ones. Have you seen leaves like these, Helen? I have. We, when we walk to school, we see red leaves and orange leaves and um, yellow leaves, and they all, they're all collected on the ground in the most beautiful pattern, and we've collected a few here. Well, we see leaves falling from the trees like these ones because these leaves have died. But they are still very, very beautiful. And in November, we remember all sorts of things. And one of the things that we remember is people that have died. So I just wanted to share with you about somebody that I know who died, but who still brings me so much joy because of all the love I had. And as I was thinking about sharing with you about this person this morning, I went on my social media and that is the first thing I saw. And it's a picture of this special person. And this person is my grandpa, Ted. His name was Edward Jack, but we called him Grandpa Ted. And he died about four years ago because he died when James was a very little baby. This is my Grandpa Ted and James. And I know he was very, very, very pleased to meet James before he died. So that's a very special memory. So when I remember my Grandpa Ted, I do feel happy as well. And all these memories I have are so beautiful. Here I have some things to remind me and to show you. The first one is this picture. Can you see my Grandpa Ted's lovely smile? Can you all smile like my Grandpa Ted? Can you do a big smile? I love remembering my Grandpa's smile. So let's sing thank you for my Grandpa Ted. And as we do so, we'll draw a big smile on our faces. Are you going to sing as well, ready? As we remember the big smiles of the people we love. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for Grandpa Ted. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for Grandpa Ted. Now, another memory I have this very special thing. My granny and grandpa used to live in America and they went on holiday there. And one time they brought back this, can't remember what it's called, a poncho, that's it. So I'm gonna put on this special poncho. Oh, it's sort of like a coat, but sort of like a blanket. And I take this on holiday with me Helen pointed out it's got fish on, so that's very good for James. And I use this on holiday when we sit by a lovely campfire with all our friends singing songs and eating uh, marshmallows and thinking of all the people we love. So can you all imagine that you're all warm and toasty by a lovely campfire? Oh. Excellent. James is getting something red for the fire. Perhaps you could use your red thing for the fire. Oh, well done, Helen. You're all cosy. And as we cuddle up by the fire, everyone cuddle up. Let's sing again. 
Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for Grandpa Ted. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for Grandpa Ted. Oh, I do love this. Always makes me think of him. And then I have another memory. Now, I did mention last week, I normally don't go on about my birthday, but I mentioned it last week and I'm going to mention it again. My twin and I have our birthday on the 2nd of November. And my mum and dad always used to be away for our birthday for a conference. So my grandpa used to come and look after us. And at this time of year, when there's not coronavirus, often we have lots of parties and discos. So my grandpa used to help us use things like bin bags and all sorts of things to become cats and all sorts of creatures and creations using funny things to make fun costumes to go and have a party with our friends. So it's a very important time of year to remember all our loved ones and all the light in the world. So we're going to imagine we're at that party. Imagine you've got your costume on and give a little dance. I'm not sure people can see or hear you. Oh, there's a very little fire. But now, James, we're ah! at a disco. Can you disco dance? Or maybe do a spin? Can you spin? Everybody dance. Oh, well done. Oh, no one can see you. Do it on the camera. Go on, one more spin. Yeah. So as we dance, let's say thank you for Grandpa Ted. Ready? Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for Grandpa Ted. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for Grandpa Ted. Oh, nice singing, James. Well, I love my grandpa. Four years ago, he died, which was very sad. But I love remembering him. He showed me lots of love and life and laughter. And when we follow Jesus, we believe that when we die, we go to heaven to be with God. We don't know where heaven is, but there's a poem in the Bible that tells us about heaven. Let's sing this poem together. My turn, your turn. No more hurting, no more hurting. No more hurting, no more hurting. No more crying, no more crying. No more crying, no more crying. No dark, no dark. No dark, no dark. God is with me, God is with me. God is with me. God is with me. Lovely. Should we sing that one more time? James, you were doing a lovely job. Now let's do it with some action this time. We're going to rub our head and our tummy and say, No more hurting, no more hurting. No more crying, no more crying. No dark. No dark, God is with me, God is with me. Well done, James. Do you want to stand up and do it so everyone can see your actions? Ready? <laughs> One more time. No more hurting, no more hurting, no more crying, no more crying, no dark, no dark. God is with me, God is with me. Well done, James, that was lovely. In November, we remember all sorts of things. One of the things we remember is people who have died. It can make us feel sad and happy all at the same time. And that's all right. We can remember people by looking at lots of things that remind us of them, like the things I've shown you today. And another thing we can do to remember, we have to be a little bit careful with this one, is that sometimes we use flowers and sometimes we use candles. 
So I'm going to light a little candle to remember my grandpa Ted, but I'm also going to think about all of the people that you are remembering. See if you can think no, of people. Well, you hold that fire up too. That's a very good, that's a good candle size. Let's see if we can make it happen. So Helen's got her lovely candle picture, which some of you might have done. And it's in our comments of our other video if you want to join in. Or if you're very careful with an adult, you could light a candle. And if you don't have candles at home, you can go into St Mary's on a Wednesday or a Sunday and there's a very special place at the top where you can light a candle to show that you're remembering people. So let's close our eyes for a moment. Think of the people that you're remembering them and remember them now. Let's remember something they did that made us smile. <gasps> We're going to open our eyes now and say, thank you, God. We're going to sing the thank you, God song again. I'm going to have to switch tunes now. So let's see if this you're probably better fire. than me. Excellent. Be my fire. No, be very careful with the fire. That's a very good point, James. We're going to say, thank you, God, for all who've died. OK, can you say that too? Thank you, God, for all who've died. <laughs> all the people that died uh, so we're going to sing it quietly and we're going to think about our people maybe hold your candle or just think of a candle i've got to remember the tune now i keep getting confused between I'm the two tunes thank my, you thank I'm you god my candle well done Megan. and it even has a handle. handle on it on the can the candle has a handle on it so i can hold it well done well let's sing together thank you god thank you god thank you god for all who've died thank you god thank you god thank you god for all who've died yeah. In here, and and this is in like it's here when it's swimming in uh, like this. A special candle. Shall we sing one more time all together? Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for all who've died. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for all who've died. There we go. We'll leave that candle burning very carefully. And leave mine burning very carefully. Well done, James. burning. It's hot. We have to be careful. Well, in November, we remember people who have died. And it's good to remember them. It can make us feel happy and sad all at the same time. But if you would like to talk to somebody about somebody that's died, if maybe it makes you feel more sad than happy, or if it only makes you feel happy, but you want to share that with people, do remember that we are here for you. And we can talk to you about God and Jesus and all of that and help to make sense of it, hopefully. And we can show you the bits in the Bible that tell us about heaven. So do drop us a line here, or you can go to churches in Bridge North, or you can go to Little Stars, wherever you feel comfortable, and your message will come to our team and we can help listen because we want you to remember with joy as much as possible. Thank you, Helen. Back over to you. Oh, really cool. So we're nearly at the end of Diddy Disciples. But first of all, we're going to say another thank you for all the good things that have happened this week for us. So it's time to remember what you've done this week and to say thank you to God for when you've been part of showing God's love. So let's wiggle our fingers 
You've got your fingers ready? Ooh, that's right. Okay, I wonder how you've shown love this week with your hands. Have you done something really nice with your hands? Maybe you drew that picture <laughs> or gave a cuddle. Yes, that's right. So we're going to wiggle. Oh, lovely picture, James. We're going to wiggle our fingers again and we're going to sing our little song. My hands were made for love. My hands were made for love. Thank you for the love they found. My hands were made for love. Right. Now we need to wiggle our feet. Have you got your feet there? Oh, wiggle your feet around. That's it. I wonder, lovely feet, James. I wonder if you've shown any love with your feet this week. Maybe you've gone and fetched something for somebody. Yeah, or, or walked around and been really, really helpful. And walking the dog. We love to walk the dog and show her love. Oh, that's fabulous. So let's wiggle our feet now and sing our song. Off we go. My feet were made for love. My feet were made for love. Thank you for the love they found my feet. Shown them my feet were made for love. Oh, well done. Now, put your hand gently on your neck and say, ah, ah. Can you feel your throat vibrating and dancing? I wonder if you've shown love with your voice this week. Maybe you've been really kind to somebody and said some lovely things to them. I bet James has done some of that this week. Right, are you ready to sing then? Keep your hand on and feel your voice dancing. My voice was made for love. My voice was made for love. Thank you for the love it's shown. My voice was made for love. Well done. So now it's time for our little prayer time. And this week, our lovely Hazel has said a prayerful word for us. Let's get ready to listen. For today. At this difficult time, we must try to think of all the positive things in our life. Thinking of all the joy that people no longer with us have brought to us, to their family, to their friends and their children. God bless all our Diddy disciples. Amen. Thank you, Hazel. So, it's now time to take God's love into the world. So, over to you, Kate. Well, we've talked about candles, but we're going to imagine a very special candle that we can take with us all the time with no risk of burning. Because God puts a little light of love inside all of us. Can you show us where your heart is, James? It's up a bit. There we go. So let's make our fingers into a candle. And just like I did with the match, we'll use a pretend match and we're going to pretend that we are God. I'm going to light this little light of love. Ready? One, two, three. That's it. And we're going to let God light our little light and we're going to sing this song together. Ready? This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Won't let no one it out. I'm gonna let it shine, won't let no one it out. I'm gonna let it shine, won't let no one it out. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Ready? Hide it under a bushel now. I'm gonna let it shine, hide it under a bushel now. I'm gonna let it shine, 
Slide it on the rubber shoulder. I'm gonna let it slide. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Now let's put our little light of love back where it belongs in our hearts. And let's remember to let our little light of love shine in all our playing and all our working. And as we remember the people that we love who have died, we know that their light of love goes with us and just makes ours burn brighter. So we'll be thinking of you when we light our candles this week carefully. We'll be thinking of you and the people you love that have died. And do remember, if you want to talk to us about them, then we're here and we would love to hear about your loved ones. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's Bye. it. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. See you next week.